Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Hocus Four Fifth. In this video right here, I'm gonna teach y'all how to make CMOS gel because a lot of y'all been asking me, and also the difference between these these store bought CMOSes and my CMOS and like these other dudes out here selling CMOS. I don't know, but it's a lot going on. So I'm gonna teach y'all this, and I'm gonna teach you why you should get my CMOS versus these other dudes CMOS. So let's get right to it. So this is CMOS, right? This is my CMOS. This is two ounces. Two ounces, right? 1.9, so two ounces, that's just two ounces. This right here, this CMOS right here, is bought from a farmer's market, okay? Now, it, it, it's $7.99 a pound, do you see? It says $7.99 a pound, okay? And then when you open it, you look at it, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it clear like I can, but you see how thick it is? That means that these people already soaked the CMOS and they, they added salt back to it or whatever this is back on it, sand the salt, they added it back to it. So people be asking me, people be telling me like, oh, I, I can get CMOS cheaper. You know, I get CMOS for this price. Well, go get it then. Because at the end of the day, you ain't getting this right here straight from St. Lucia. You see how thin this is? This is how CMOS is supposed to look. Go look up Dr. Sadie's videos. This is how CMOS is supposed to look before you before you soak it yourself. So you find this for $7.99. I mean, I want to show y'all and prove to y'all that this is a pound, right? No, it really is a pound. So let me show you on the scale. Look. So they got the they got the math, right? You see? A pound. And, the, and this weighs, this weighs 1.3. So that's what the um the you know with this casing. But it's a pound. It is a pound, right? And this right here is two ounces, right? So now I'm gonna show you how to make CMOS, and I'm also gonna show you that my two ounces, when I soak it, is gonna be more than this pound. So I can sell y'all $7.99 all day or some wet shit, but I'm giving you the raw, raw, raw CMOS. So, you know, follow, follow along. All right, so what we're gonna do here is first, is we're gonna, um, we're gonna rinse the CMOS off. Put it in a little bowl. You rinse it off with distilled water. I use distilled water. I drink distilled water. I do everything with distilled water. I just bought this from the supermarket. Even though I got my own distiller, I make distilled water myself. I got two distillers over here. But we're going to rinse this off right here. You know what I mean? You just rinse it off with distilled water. Just to rinse it off on any sand that's on it. You don't need to be much. See, there's no sand on there. The gold doesn't have much sand on it anyway. So then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in this in this bowl. It, you could put it in like a, a um, Tupperware like this, or maybe a bowl. But it has to be a large bowl because sea moss expands. So when you when you um, soak the sea moss, it's gonna expand a lot. So you want to put it in a large bowl or something like this like the size of this, or maybe a little bit, it could be a little bit smaller, but you know, you want your CMOS to expand a lot. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna add it to still water, let it soak. And then we're gonna add some limes in there. We're gonna squeeze two limes. Well, we go, this is one lime, but two sides. And we're gonna let the lime sit in there also to get all the juices out of it. We're gonna let the lime sit in there. Spread it around. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the lid on this. And we're gonna let this sit for 24 to 48 hours. Some people do 48 hours, I do 24. And within the next 12 hours, you'll see this expanding. Well, not even, within the next three hours, you'll see it start expanding crazy. But I still let it sit for the whole 24. Um, we're gonna let this sit. And I'm gonna show you when we come back in 24 hours, why this two ounces is gonna be more than this pound that they're selling you in these stores and in these streets. All right, so stay tuned. All right, child, we back. It's been 24 hours. As I said, I'm gonna show you how to make the CMOS and I'm gonna also show y'all why my CMOS is the greatest. So look at this. So this is after 24 hours of soaking the CMOS. As you can see, you can see how it expanded. Yes, this was the small two ounces that you seen, right? This is the two ounces that you seen. So we're gonna, we're gonna dump this water out, y'all in the sink. We're gonna just dump this water real quick.
Okay, guys. So here go the two ounces of sea moss. And here goes the pound of sea moss from the farmer's market and health food stores that they be selling y'all, right? Now, I'm gonna do an experiment. Remember, this is the pound. This is two ounces. There's, there's um 16 ounces in a pound, right? This is two ounces versus the pound that they're selling you. And y'all think y'all getting something for cheap. Let me show you something. Let's take this out of here. We're gonna dump this. So this is their pound, right? That's their pound. This is their casing, right? I'm gonna take my two ounces and I'm gonna put it inside of their casing. Two ounces. Come on, guys. Two ounces. As you can see, my two ounces fit in here, and this is what they selling y'all as a pound. This is a real pound, guys. This is multicolor, um, mostly purple. It's a multicolor of CMOS. This is a real pound. So this is 16 ounces. Two ounces of this made this, okay? So this shit right here that they selling you, no good, man, no good. You don't wanna buy your CMOS like that. You know what I'm saying? If you are gonna buy your CMOS in a jail, from somebody already, that's different. But to buy it like this, to act like it's raw CMOS, this is no good. So this is garbage, so we're gonna throw this in the garbage. Let me just put this on the side. I just bought this for experimental use only. So now what I'm gonna do, y'all, is I'm gonna show you how to make CMOS gels. So the way I make my CMOS gels, I got sea lion cinnamon here, right? Organic sea lion cinnamon powder. I like to put, I like ginger, you know what I mean? So I, I get um, ground ginger and I get ground sea, um, cinnamon powder. I don't have any ground elderberry right now. This is actual elderberry that I make, that I take a teaspoon of. So so I, I put this in my sea moss also. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there. So we're gonna have some um, elderberry, sea lime cinnamon, and ginger infused sea moss gel. So here we go, let me show you how to make the gel. So first you just put the sea moss inside. Simple, put the sea moss inside. You want to take about a tablespoon or to your liking of sea lime cinnamon. See, um, cinnamon, you know, has a distinct, distinct taste, like a distinct flavor, so a powerful flavor. You don't want to OD on the cinnamon. Now, ginger, I love ginger, so sometimes I might OD on the ginger. I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't like, you know. I don't really even count whether one or two tablespoons, but one one or two tablespoons might be good and ideal for you. I put a lot of ginger. This is ground ginger. I love the way ginger tastes. And then we're gonna top it off with some elderberry, right? This is actually elderberry juice that I make that I take a teaspoon of that I give my kids and everything also. So we're gonna put some of this in there. Not the whole thing. Doesn't need the whole thing, all right? About half of that amount in there. Now, we add some water. Again, guys, I use distilled water. As I, I, I didn't explain on many occasions why I use distilled water. I did videos on water. Um, you know, go check those out. I'll be doing more in the future, but I use distilled water. So you add some water to this. Fill it up to about, about right there. You know. And if it needs more water, then you add more water. Now you start to blend. This is a Vitamix, y'all. Vitamix blends very well. It, it blends very well. I, I recommend you get a Vitamix because a regular blender, I had one. It wasn't blending the way I want, like the applesauce consist consistency. So I got a Vitamix, about $300 for a good Vitamix. That's how much I paid for this. I'm from Castle Hill, I'm from Soundview. I'm, I'm from Castle Hill, I'm from Soundview. I'm, I'm from Castle Hill, I'm from Soundview. Before rap, I ain't never heard about you. I'm from Castle Hill, I'm from Soundview. I'm, I'm from All right, child, let's see what we got here. So like I said, you wanna get your consistency to where it's like applesauce. Some people like it a little thicker, you know what I mean? But this is the consistency that you want. This is it, y'all. This is your CMOS gel. This is your CMOS gel. So now, you know, you take that. What we're going to do is take the CMOS. 
jail out of the building supporting their job. Look at that consistency, y'all. Look at that consistency, man. This is how you make Seymour gel. This is how you want it to look. This is how you want it to smell and everything. It smells so good. It smells so refreshing. All right, y'all. So you fill up your jar. Okay. One second. Get all of that in there. Fill up your jar and then you refrigerate it. Now, after you refrigerate it, once you refrigerate the Seymour gel, you see how I had the consistency of applesauce? After you refrigerate it, this is the consistency it's gonna have. See, it's gonna look, that, there it go. You see how it's jelly? See the gel? It's gonna have this consistency after it's refrigerated. I made this Seymour the other day, you know. Let's take another scoop just to show you guys. See the consistency there? Out of gel. Look at that, y'all. This is Seamoss, okay? So, in a nutshell, you know, I always make sure, even when I was in the streets, I always make sure I got the best product. So, I feel like I got the best product. My product is straight from St. Lucia, you know, fresh out the seas of St. Lucia. I will um, be showing a video for my um, suppliers out there. They sent me a video. I'll post that also. Holla at me if you need the CMOS. I also got the CMOS gels now. I'm only selling this size, though. This is a family size. This is a lot. But it's only $25. And I also got the pounds, the raw pounds. So hit me up, man. Signing up. Hope it's 4th. I hope you learned something today.